Welcome back to the CW. Okay, Facebook, Twitter, and now the Knox County Election Commission have all been victims of cyber attacks. It's a term many of us have never heard of until this week called the denial of service. And John McCulley, senior web developer of Moxley Carmichael, joins us to talk about that, what it means, and there's some initials for that. Yeah, so you'll typically hear it called a DDoS attack, and that's two capital D's, a lowercase o, and a capital S. Now, you're in the computer business and understanding all these, these techie terms. Mm -hmm. I asked you beforehand, you said, oh, yeah, yeah, we know about that, but you know, the common folk like us, we don't know sure. about that. So what does that mean? It actually happens all the time to websites like Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, where a denial of service is when a hacker or, you know, just a nefarious person will try to send too many visits or too many requests to a website. Mm -hmm. What that does is websites are housed on servers, these large computers, and the only the they only have so much traffic they can give out. Mm -hmm. And when you have a denial of service attack, it just sends too much traffic to that server and it can cause the website to be slow mm -hmm. and it can cause it to be inaccessible because the server just can't handle it anymore. Okay, so so what are the effects on this? I mean, I can see the first one is it just shuts it down. Yeah. So that's typically what happens. Typically, yeah. hackers are smart enough where they know how much traffic they need to send, so they'll send a ton of traffic. And it's basically like when you've been in a room and you've had 100 people talking at you at once, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, I can't tell which thought to do. That's the way a server is. Mm -hmm. you know. So basically, they send so much traffic that the website just implodes. Let's talk about the one that affects us most here, and one we know about most, say, here in East Tennessee, that they thought it was one person or one entity somewhere else that was flooding it with all this info. And that's typically the case. Typically it's just one computer or one external server. A lot of times it happens from foreign IP addresses and from foreign countries. Um, and this is the most common way, you know, uh -huh. so um, that could have been it. And I know they're investigating that right now. I know they're investigating it. So, I mean, this is lame, a layman talking about this. Sure. What can you do? And I'm sure they're trying to figure out how to combat that and go around this. And right. A lot of people hear DDoS attack and they think that that affects their computer. Well, it doesn't. So basically, when when a site gets attacked, a website gets attacked by a DDoS attack, it doesn't really affect you. Now, you don't want to keep going back because you never know what else has been put on the website at the time. Mm -hmm. You want to kind of take your time, make sure that your firewall's up to date, make sure that your mm -hmm. malware protection, like your Norton or McAfee, is up to date, yeah, yeah. and that you're protected. But it really doesn't affect you much. You know, uh, it, there, it's usually a temporary shutdown. Uh -huh. um, sometimes the hacker will want a ransom to put the server back up yeah. and to stop the attacks. Uh -huh. um, sometimes they're just doing it just to do it. Just for kicks. Just for kicks. Meanness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and election time is a perfect time for that. You know, Twitter was down How the other day. How would they know in some time. weird country that Knoxville, Tennessee is having an election, so we're going to mess it up if that was the reason? Well, the, the Google is everywhere. So yeah. I think yeah. that, you know, they look for these events and How look for that? big time where a website might have a lot of traffic and then they kind of slide in there knowing it's going to have a lot of traffic anyway mm -hmm. and then say maybe they won't notice that I'm giving it more traffic at that gotcha. time. So. Very good. Interesting conversation here. All right, John, thank you so much. Thank you. You're a smart guy.